Hey, welcome back, friends. It is Vandy Week. The last game of the year is flew by, Bob. Yeah, it has. Uh, let's hopefully we finish the regular season with a, you know, good W. Well, it should be. I mean, Vandy is Vandy um, this year. I mean, they've, they've had a few decent years in the last decade or so. This is not one of them. No, it really ain't. I thought they might be a little bit better this year uh, at the beginning of the year, but uh that they're not. They have not uh, been. Uh, they're they're pretty bad. Uh, well, let's not, dive into that. How okay. bad are they? All right. Let's look at a few stats, and there there's going to be a common theme with these, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, but the ones that kind of I thought was the big ones, and some that kind of stuck out was, uh, you know, Tennessee's averaging two hundred five yards a game, and Vandy's what ninety uh, ninety seven rushing. Yeah. Uh, you know, more than double. You know, quite a bit of difference there. Um, Vandy's uh, last in the conference at uh, 22 points a game uh, and uh, last in total defense uh, at 440 yards a game. Uh, as you'd imagine, they're last in, in rushing and passing allowed. Okay. I think I see the trend you're talking about, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, they uh, hit the hat trick. Uh, they're, uh, one thing on their pass defense, they're allowing 69% completion percentage. Uh, That's kind of like what we do on third down. <laughs> yeah, but what's weird is uh, they've uh, they one thing they do well is intercept the ball. Tied the lead in the interception. Well, yeah, they got a dozen. So basically, you know, take care of the football and score against Vanderbilt. That's right. I mean, yeah. I mean, you should be able to do what you want. I mean, just play your game. Don't turn the ball over. You know. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you know, when they lost like Ray Davis from last year, and, and the, the portal's really going to hurt some of these teams like them because you get guys that realize, hey, you know, I shouldn't be playing at Vanderbilt. I need to be playing at. Yeah, if you're a halfway decent player, you're like, hey, I can play somewhere else. And yeah. And without, I'm imagining their NIL game is probably pretty weak in comparatively speaking. So, you know, the new um, college landscape might be very, very difficult for teams like Vanderbilt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, only other stat I was going to say is uh, their quarterback's only completing 50% of the fifth passes. Uh, so, yeah, not, not, not you know, so not what, kind of what you'd expect from Vandy. Yeah. Not good on defense, not good on offense. Yeah. You know. So, so it's kind of like almost like it's one of our open dates, or not open dates, but a cupcake in the fact that, you know, this game's about Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want to stay healthy. We want don't, we don't want to go in this game losing focus. It's going to be senior day. Um Although who knows how many of these seniors choose to come back because of the COVID year. Yeah. But, you know, it's about getting things right, getting our uh, getting some guys to plan time. Because, honestly, with a portal, like we mentioned a moment ago, portal coming up, you know, it's not only do we need to find out who we want and who we want to keep, but there's going to be out there some guys that you want to tell, say, hey, I, I think it's time for you to move on. Yeah, with the uh, scholarship limitation limitations and uh, you know all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's some you hate to do it, but in the in this well, era, you kind of got to say, hey, uh, unfortunately, especially with the, you know the COVID guys. You know, some of them guys hey, look, hey, come back. Some of them are like, uh, you know. Well, I think a lot of the COVID guys will probably want to bring back. To be honest about it, most. because most of them can be a starter or or a big big time contributor. But I think we've got some backups in the defensive backfield and the offensive line that we're probably going to attempt to part ways with. Yeah. And But, I mean, we need to get, get them out there. Let's make sure. You don't want them to send somebody off. Then a year later, man, we could have really used that guy. Yeah. Uh, only two things I think Bandy's got going for them besides the interceptions is uh, they had a uh, bye week last week. <laughs> 11th game of the year or their 12th game, 12th week, whatever. It's crazy. A week to heal up and game plan a little more. So, you know, that got, they got that going for them. Yeah. They could go the opposite on that, though. Could. I mean, yeah, they got time, extra time to scheme. We're, obviously, I don't want to, the term Super Bowl has been overused this year. But, you know, we're definitely, you know, key rival for them. Yeah. But ha have they melted in? How many of these guys are pretty much like, we're just ready for the year to be over with. Yeah. We thought we were going to have a better year than what we did. Yeah. I mean, it could be. It might be time to mail it in. We'll so. see. Uh, and and that's the other aspect. You know, it's a rival game. So, will they be pumped? I guess we'll just see how they come in. 
they sometimes they give us more trouble than what they should. Oh, Lord, Lord yeah. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of some trouble. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Maui game. We're filming this right after uh, the Purdue game. So, uh, but, uh, you know, the biggest thing for me, you know, we played them tight, number two team in the country. So, I mean, I, you know, not to be ashamed of, but. Yeah, you'd like to come out with a win. Uh, man, I tell you what. Uh, kind of an ugly, disjointed game, though. Man, I tell you what, it was 78 free throw shots. 48 for Purdue. I don't know if I've seen that before, personally. I mean, maybe I have. I just hadn't noticed it. I That's... want to say, I, I swear, I think I remember Mike, maybe like LSU shooting 53 throws against us. Back when Shaq was there, maybe, or something. I well, can't remember exactly. I, I, I might, but as far as both teams combined for 78, yeah, um, I don't recall it. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, yeah, the fish shaping was just, you know, I'm not going to complain a whole lot, you know, because most of the fouls were deserved, but, I mean, it wasn't a very good call game. I mean, there was a lot of just mystery fouls, and this and that, but, uh, but yeah, it's just a, but you know what? I think we can get better. Uh, Ziegler's not where he needs to be. Uh, he or will be. Yeah, he's just not confident right now. His offensive game's not there. Uh, Santee's not playing good at all, uh, obviously, as uh, far as shooting goes. So, I mean, if, if you told me uh, those guys were shooting probably like, I'm thinking like something like 15% from, from the three-point three. line, uh, well, obviously, we've not got production out of these two guys who... And we will. Uh, yeah, and when we do, uh, we're going to be hard to handle. Yeah, I mean, they're just... There's some, uh, you know, some teamwork there, I think, still be built with uh, Connect. I mean, he's still learning everything. It seems like when he's in there, uh, I mean, he's a heck of an offensive guy, but the, the, the offense don't flow as well, it seems like, when he's in there. And that'll get better once he learns. Everybody gets better with it. And same thing with Ziegler. I mean, I just think it's just not quite there yet. It, but, and, but it will. Early in the season. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I thought Ganey showed a little bit more athleticism so far in this trip than I was aware of. I guess I had him pegged too much as just a three-point shooter. Yeah. But um, Me too. he's had some really nice drives. Um, I mean, I guess uh, Syracuse, he had that one left-handed dunk that he just yeah, yeah. he shot through her like a – Breeze Lightning, and I thought he's got a little bit more hops than I thought he had. Mm -hmm. um, th this team's going to be fun to watch. Oh, yeah, very good. And I, we've got plenty more. Um, I think we've got two more big-time games coming up here in the next uh, eight days, I think it is. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we uh, in enjoy, guys, because this will be a great year, I do believe. Yeah, I think you're calling for uh, cutting down some nets or something. Well, we need to. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> Yeah, we need to be. We need to win something, you know, this year. Amen to that. Well, I guess on that note is go big orange, ain't it? That's right. Go balls. Right.